All right, what do you want to talk about next? Because uh-huh. I want to make fun of that hate six guy, but I, I actually lost a little bit of energy behind it. I was going to say, you were really excited about that at the beginning. I was really uh, toe up from the flow up about yeah. this when it you, dropped. You were no, like I just. About it. So, what? You were getting like five loco about it. Oh, dude, I was getting. Uh, I was. To put kindly, I was wiling out a little bit in the in the message. So basically, here let's let's pull it up real quick. Well, here's the thing too. It's like I want, if I pop off online, I want to keep it a hundred and pop, like, dude. and pop, yeah. Pop. But so he posted this video, and I'm I'm the the I here's the thing. I'll put it this way. I like his content. Wait, by I, the way, this is this is coming off a little hypocritical after we just were loving the last face kicking video. <laughs> maybe that's no. where you maybe that's where the energy went where you're like holy shit actually maybe no no, no 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 it's not so it. much it's not so much about the action it's about the like hypocrisy of the action it's this context now we're yeah now that's we're i'm a i'm a big context guy love it and it's like and then also too see, so basically here let's give people let's give people context yeah so basically the hate five six guy oh that's what i was gonna say i was like i like i like the content he puts out but the more and more i see i'm like Probably wouldn't have fun hanging out with him, which is fine. I've 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 yapped a bunch on other platforms where it's like I'm sick of this shit. Where like what what people want businesses to be like, like good people and stuff yeah. like that. And you're like, make me a product, and when you do it, just try to kill as few people as possible. Like yeah, just make please. me a good, just make me a good product, and try to kill and harm as few people as possible when you do it. So, I my whole thing with like the hate six guy, like. I put on his videos. I see the fucking hammer and sickle. I roll my eyes because it's like, I mean, read a book. You know what I mean? Because uh, you well, if we do that, we'll all die. But uh, <laughs> either way, but it's like I'm here. I don't give a fuck about politics. I'm here for like fucking. I'm here to watch hardcore videos. I'm here to watch fucking. I'm here to drink a bunch of beers and watch knock loose videos at two a.m. when my wife's asleep. You know what right. I mean? Like that's what I'm here for. So I shit. I don't give a fuck. Like. I don't, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck that he's like a goofy commie. I don't give a shit. Um, right. You know what I mean? But it's like when you're trying to put your toes into because because when you try to put your toes into the whole like commie progressive, I'm a fucking do gooder. I'm this and that. And then you post videos like this. It just like irritates the fucking shit out of me. Yeah. So he has he has this video where he just captures it. Play stupid games like have a main character syndrome, win stupid prizes. Which sidebar? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes is dumb shit. Uh, us gun nuts say so you can't yeah. appropriate yeah. that, sir. You're yeah. trying to appropriate my culture, my friend, and that's ours. Our, that's our word. <laughs> that's our cringy thing we say, <laughs> not yours, commie. <laughs> um. But yeah, ha- stupid prize is like being an expendable side character and 300. Oh, that's a new thing, by the way. These people who stay on stage for too long is like win stupid game or play stupid games, win stupid prizes. But either way, here let's just give context for the video. So, oh, wait, let's back it up a little bit. So he's he's at which funny enough, he has, he is uh, recording at Tie Down Fest where the video we watched earlier actually came from. And I saw a bunch of videos I saw a bunch of videos from the thing. Like I have like this one here. This is trapped under ice, I think. Yeah. And like, it's just like fucking insanity. It was a fucking crazy. (laughs) Yeah. See that guy guy in the front? Back it up just a little bit. This guy in the blue shirt right here with the curly hair. Kind of looks like Ben Askren, like Ben Askren's son. This guy? Yeah. Yeah. Watch him like go back a little bit. Watch him go the other way across the stage. It's exactly how I look when I try to try to hardcore dance. It's exactly my hold on. Here he goes. Hold on. Oh, come but, on. Falls falls into the crowd. I just saw him go across. Yes, it's, okay, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, just not not hitting here it. it is. Here, here. That. That's me. That's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's Dude. exactly me. There's nothing. There's nothing. And I've I've been the victim of this. So I'm 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 part of this. But like, there's nothing funnier than watching someone not fully like yeah. find the two step rhythm couldn't i can never do it i can never do it and that's why i'm like i ultimately i can never truly be in a hardcore pit successfully and i would never do it on stage but you're right (laughs) it does seem like you said earlier quite unhinged oh and then there was this there was this amazing clip with uh the lead singer of god's hate who is the uh uh he wrestles for AEW. nice 
And so, did you see this one was so goddamn funny? This dude goes up to him, <laughs> and you see this guy right here, and he's like, he's just like headlock, headlock, and you see the singer go like, huh, huh, yeah, what, what me? are you doing? Headlock me? I look, I, I third, I first, I thought, yeah, it throws. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like that's that's good old fun, but just like I'm I'm showing these videos to got, let you guys know it was just like it was it was a next level uh, unhinged what yeah we're not being pussies we're like it was it just, was it was like a next level god damn it the fucking zoom fucking thing is obstructing my view it's just a next level unhinged fest right. um which is if that's what you want to do go I I I'm a, I'm a, I'm the big red menace I'm unhinged yeah. I mean, that's, um, your, that's your whole brand now. Yeah. So he's like, so he's going there. It, I'm just, I showed those videos kind of like give you the, like set the tone for what the vibe is at these things. And he's off side stage, like very close to the band. And so he's standing there recording this shit the way he does. The and, $10, girl, dollar camera. and so this girl comes up, which, okay. I'm glad you said that because he goes in the tweet where he goes, but for real, this shit is starting to happen a lot. I'm fully aware of the risk of filming hardcore shows with a 10K camera and posting random viral clips, but, and then he does a whole, I mean, I guess we could read that, but you grab me or my shit and hit the stop record button during Trapped Under Ice, no less. I will King Leonidas your pick me ass into the abyss. Anyway, tied down was amazing, blah, blah, blah. I filmed a bunch. Okay, whatever. I'll but say that. I'll did, say did, this. Did, 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 I'll, the, I'll say. I'll sorry, say. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're both competing to interrupt each fired other. Up. The most. We, we got you. Got fired back up. You, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm fired up. You, I, sure. When it, I, I, I fucking when it comes to fucking clapping, commie cheeks, <laughs> boy wakes up now. I, uh, I truly don't. I truly don't care. Um, yeah, but this although, is so crazy. although your ideology will kill us all. But either way, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Go check out No More Heroes, everybody. <laughs> This You'll is learn not the a podcast. Lot. This isn't the podcast. Yeah. No More Heroes is the podcast where I talk about that. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it drag the lake and not No More Heroes. Um, I will say this. So I'm glad you brought up the camera thing. I'll say this. I don't give a fuck how expensive your camera is. Yeah. You're going into retard city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to think about it. Your front row, retard city. <laughs> your it's, front it's, row. It's your front row of fucking crazy manic retard city yeah. i don't care how much that's your risk and, so and you're pointing a thing you're pointing a thing into the audience like that's the thing is you're you're it's like think about any other situation when a person puts their hand out from the stage or puts a fucking microphone out from the stage or does anything from the stage a security guard anything they're they're making contact with you or they're asking you to interact so yeah Maybe it's they're like, looking for a really cool fisheye shot of like this lady going like this, but then all this crazy shit and go in the background. It, you could win a fucking uh, a, pri a, a, a prize. I was going to say a Nobel Peace Prize, but I think, I couldn't think of a photo a photograph prize that you would win. <laughs> but you could win a whatever nerd art award that you want from a cool action candid shot with this lady going. Ugh! But instead of being all bitter, I to be honest with you, Andy, I don't think he does by the by the looks of this post. I don't think he does fully understand the risk of bringing a ten thousand dollar camera into a fucking retard fest. Well, that's my thing. It's like that's it's the whole like, point. Is. So for like first out, yeah, for, like <clears throat> talking on the whole like it's my ten thousand dollar camera. It's like dog, you're like the whole like you, you saw the guy jumping off the stage kicking shit like. You see how everyone is in the pit. They're all trying to simulate fighting better than each other. Like there's <laughs> yeah. like this is the thing I don't get about like these hardcore fans and people in hardcore where they'll be like, yeah, we want we want it to get crazy and chaos. This is a free flowing expression of our bodies. But if you but if you make me but but if you fucking put me out even minorly, that's not right. And you're like, yeah. no, you can't have both. It's either it's either full blown chaos anarchy or we have to be careful around my super expensive or your camera. Comfort. Right. Your comfort. Yeah. And that's so let. I, that was the, how the point was brought up to Kirk was the fact that how and crazy, how crazily hypocritical I used to think it was to have security at a total chaos show. Yeah. The, the band is total chaos. And you have these dicks that are like, Hey, get up here. You can only be up here for a little bit. Make sure you jump off stage. Don't touch any of this. Like, 
Oh, yeah. Chaos. Whoa. Yeah, you should really you should really rename that to some chaos. Yeah, most mostly chaos, but also some order. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now, I've been I've been a bit of a rascal and a bit of a mean guy told I think his name's Sonny, whatever the yeah, fuck. The commie but, fuck? But yeah, it's a dirty commie scum. Um, but uh, <laughs> don't worry. But, but I'll meet him halfway. I'll meet him halfway. Like, you know, this is my at least their trains ran on time. Uh <laughs> Though. How are the roads going to get built? Old hardcore Mussolini over here. <laughs> but no, so watch this. God damn it. I don't want the sound. Um, so this chick runs up. Eh, I'm a I'm a I'm a crazy girl. And so she gets a little bit of a shove. Right now, I'm I'm Everything good as order. shit. Right. Everything is completely fine. Everything is completely fine. But like wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Is that Elijah Wood right there in the top right? <laughs> Dude, it does. It Dude, does look Frodo? exactly like Elijah Wood. Dude, we just found our next one. Frodo officially at fucking Trapped Under Ice. We need to report on this. Take a screenshot. <laughs> Hardcore's blowing up. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, a, I'm reporting on this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so my only problem is this. And then it's it's so she falls down. Which yeah. I'm completely fine with this. Like, if you're standing there and you like grab my shit, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna get you off of my shit. And if you happen to fall down, like, sorry, you were acting like a dumb bitch. Like, you may, you may be okay with it. Yeah. If you if you go to support, that was the thing. Is anytime at a show, and still to this day, anytime at the show, if you go to support yourself on me, I'll give you I'll give you a good three second beat for you to because it's usually somebody trying to get up. But then if you're hanging on uh, on my shit, I'm going to go, whoop, no thanks. Yes. Yeah, it's totally tell you, fair. You're totally fine with it. But if we go back to the video, you can see Elijah is not happy with it. <laughs> he's, he's a little on the fence. He, didn't know, he, he, he didn't know exactly what happened. Hold on down there. <laughs> he's a little on the fence. <laughs> he's like, hey, she okay? Yeah. And so, <laughs> hey, uh, excuse me, uh, dirty commie scum? Yeah. She good? Hey, is that my, hey, is that my precious? Am I precious down there? <laughs> did you uh, did you get my precious? <laughs> did you, did you get, get my precious? precious? <laughs> she, did, she did go full golem on his camera though. <laughs> yeah, if we're gonna be honest, if we're gonna yeah. be honest, she did go full golem on that camera. Yeah, she went. Golem. But no, this is the part that I'm like, oh, you're a, you're a dork. Yeah. So then, boom, uh. kick. And also, I like, dude, the like he like she's clearly so getting scared. look how scared he is when he does this he like huh, like it's this is not yeah, huh. like he was like yeah, See, get him away. Even, but he's still filming it he's still filming and that's what i don't like about this is he's See, gonna don't even, he's gonna drop it's get worse it gets worse than this post andy i'm sorry the thing that fires you up gets it it gets worse because he's gonna film this is like yeah that's what happens when you do with my camera bitch yeah and it's like Ugh. Here's my thing about it, because I got like one dickhead on Twitter being like, "Hope she sees this, bro." And you're like, "I hope she does. Dude, I want to yeah. have sex with her. I want to <laughs> have unprotected sex with her, so I need her to see it." No, yeah. um, <laughs> sorry, That's sorry, dude. Turn. I, I, I got to be honest. Too. I got to be honest. Tommy's gonna be going. <laughs> yeah. You get fired up. I didn't know you were gonna get this fired up. No, no, no. You didn't. Have you podcasted with me ever? <laughs> nope. No, my own like my only I know we're making jokes and stuff, but like the real issue for me is just the like you already you already solved the problem. Yeah, she was she was nowhere near you. She was no he had to like he had to extend more so. And, and then and then it. he was shooting it, dude. He was recording that. And then to post it online. Yeah. Like play stupid games. I fucking I fucking showed her, right? And it's like I really, I'm, I apologize for getting political and stuff, but like, legitimately, I don't understand this whole. You get this thing from like these, like progressive types, where their whole thing yeah. is like, "I'm doing good, I'm doing the right thing," blah blah blah, all this and that, and then you just like proudly post a video of you kicking a girl over. Yeah. It's like I don't know. I'm not like I'm not trying to. I, it just it comes off like super dork behavior, and I think you're lame. Yeah, I think overall, <clears throat> even though he is, he seems like somewhat of a frail man. He, <laughs> her frame was still quite a bit smaller than his. So even still, like you could have caved her titties in. <laughs> <laughs> and if you 
Damn. Dude, if you cave titties in, dude. If you, if you cave in, world, I'm trying to marry her. I'm trying to have sex trying to fuck, with, dude. I'm <laughs> trying to fuck her, dude. If you fuck my new girl's tits up, you're kicking Andy's girlfriend. You're kicking her tits in. Dude. You're kicking my girlfriend. <laughs> Are you kicking my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> not fucking cool you commie fuck on the day i hit a new pr you kick my girlfriend <laughs> i'm looks like i'm gonna hit another pr bud you know it's, good, it's gonna be your fucking face bro i i i don't understand the justification of the second kick i get like we said how many times aside from elijah wood i think everybody's on board that first move the the shuck off and the push that's problem solved then you stand up and you got your camera away there she's nowhere near it and then you kick her in the fucking chest. Well, that's like, and then brag about it. I think I, I'm just reiterating, obviously, what we're saying. But like, but the that whole thing is is the epitome of what a crowd killer is. Like that is like you have that whole thing of like, yeah, I fucked up that fucking little kid, or I fucked up that dude that wasn't paying attention, or yeah, I fucked up that per- I fucked up that person who had no chance of beating me. I had, that, I had that person that was standing all the way to the left of the stage and I kicked him in the face when he's facing forward. <laughs> well, that's like when you know, I, like, I know, I know we, I joke about being the big red menace or whatever, but even when I went to go fucking do, um, when I was doing my bullshit at Jesus piece, like I'm joking, like, yeah, I was cannonball jumping into you guys, but I was doing it to my friends. Yeah. If I did that to someone I didn't know, that's like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and you uh, and still even you still did kind of you almost always made eye contact with us first. So there was still a warning of I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? But no, but I, it's not like a, it's this is it's the same thing. It's it's you know, the you knew the stakes. You knew who you were doing it to. Like uh, this is a stranger. Sure. She's probably fucked up or she's probably having a wonderful time at this hardcore fest. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. It seems that the, the theme is. And especially, dude, if, okay, if, if I may, I will suggest now so that this doesn't happen again. And this dork, I think if anything, this is exposed to fucking little weird needle dick dork, from, you know, like into the world of like, cool, you have cool content, but also you're a bitch. Like you're a bitch like that. This That's a straight up bitch move. It's if, like, yeah, it's if like, I was witnessed by the, let, let me, let's just say if the, if that lead singer witnessed a person in the crowd doing that he would stop the show and go get that motherfucker out of here. you know what i mean like that's that's the kind of energy you had of this like no hey, that's a fair what are you that's doing a, that's a fair point like in any other what would you do if you saw someone in the crowd like yeah. a girl came up a girl came up and grabbed them and then like the guy pushed her off and then just to add insult to injury as and this Hit is what's her. happening in this video getting up and walking away another like a fuck you kick like Fix your tits in. Uh, yeah, and it's like protect my wife's tits. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, if anything, she's got a fucking Doc Martin boot print on her titties now because yeah. you, friend, are sitting there being the tough guy. What the fuck can I do with those tits? Nothing. Yeah. What am I, I going to do, do with these mush tits? Well, yeah, do, oh, 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 you start off with big round titties. Now I got these flat dented tits. With half a waffle stomper on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get, get fucked, you son of a bitch. You ruined my wife's tits. Yep. We got yep. a problem. You ruined my, you stomp on my wife's tits. You come into my house and you stomp on my wife's tits. We got a problem. Problem. Yeah, if this was if this was witnessed by the lead singer, or Elijah would had any more pull at that concert, I think there would have been the security would have at least been like, "Hey, man, like, what are you doing? Get out of here!" Like, like that's the that's the situation where like, "Hey, hey, hey, too much." Yeah, that was that was not that was like, what's the I don't know how it goes in manslaughter, but what's what's the one where it's like you kind of you kind of planned this, but like we can't prove that you planned it, but you were that was. Not premeditated, but it's almost like shooting a burglar in the back. Like, what are you doing? They're like, it's done. They're, it's over now. Yeah, but, it's it's the I, it's whatever the one, whichever one is the one where you didn't go into this day planning on killing someone, but you didn't have to kill him then. Yeah, but you could have ended it not, and <laughs> and like you, you're like this wasn't self defense. This was, you know what I mean. This well, was this to me. This was you weren't standing your ground. You were. You, this was you going after. You know. You know what I mean. Like this was. My, my wife's tits. 
Yeah, my wife's tits. You stomped my wife's tits. <laughs> um, no, this is the equivalent. By the of... way, and if she is watching right now, let Andy know you're okay. Call me, yeah. baby. <laughs> Sweetie. Give we me a have call. That would be so we cool. Really should. Yeah, honestly, question. I do. I, if the, if we're gonna have a first guest ever, that would be the best first guest ever. <laughs> the lady that got her tits kicked in at so first, rice. <laughs> so first question: How bad did that commie fuck your tits up? <laughs> that's that's how we're uh lady that got kicked her uh, kicked her tits in at uh, trapped on the ice. How do you feel about uh? Dude, if this if this show blows up, we'll never be able to go to shows. <laughs> oh no, we're, yeah, we're this is. This is definitely an infamous uh, kind of uh, track we're picking, but I don't care, honestly. Which will be ironic, which will be ironic, because if we don't go to shows, I will be watching a lot more Hate 5-6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we can only go see Dance Gavin Dance after this, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're basically, we're on a list now. Um, no, this just to me, um, we said a lot of things, uh, but th- I just wanted to bring this up because like not just like not just him posting this video, but I, it's just all it, the, the big thing that got me galvanized was all the comments being like, yeah, you showed her yeah. and all it, that's the that was like the bigger part that really fu- like if, if I read all the comics and they were like, yo, you're kind of a pussy. I probably we would have been talking about fucking something else by now. Yeah. But the fact that like everyone in the comments were like, hell yeah, that ruled when you kick that girl walking away. It just yeah. it has the same energy of like when you watch a fight video and they knock the guy out and then one of the dudes like kicks him in the head and you're yeah. like that. That was that's too much. It's the Conor McGregor thing. It's like, yeah, it's the, it's the punch on the ground where you're like, what? Why'd you do that? yeah <laughs> why'd you do that part it's why the, did you do that why why did you do that why did you have to take it to this part where i don't know this was and 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 i can see in this clip very clearly this one this part conor mcgregor's it's being alleged that it could be maybe drug fueled who knows i'm not gonna i'm not saying connor that. yeah that's what's being alleged possibly by Is that like controversial well, I'm just saying. I'm saying it. I'm not. He's saying probably it. drinking a shit ton. Dude, of he's his own punching whiskey. anybody right now. So I'm not going to say that it's drug fuel. No, nah, we've saw a bunch. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it too, Connor. I'm not. No, I'm just kidding. I don't you want, want to crowd kill, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, come on, dude. Go to this is hardcore dude, this and be is... my bot. We're gonna need MMA fighters, dude. If this podcast blows up, we're oh. gonna need MMA fighters to protect us in pits. Yeah, that'll be. I think that's the key. I think that's the key to to success, but. If if finish- hey guys, what's drag the lake like? Well, imagine if someone called your favorite band gay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and also said how much they love listening to them, but also said that they're really shitty in a lot of ways. <laughs> but all, well, but- no, my my whole well, here's the thing: the podcast won't be like this if you guys stop acting like dorks. That's my main thing. Is like for for a genre for like all that. Um, God damn it! Sorry, I got sidetracked because I'm reading was- his I'm reading his Twitter bio. The, live music, live music art archivist, tape liberator. <laughs> no, this is this is my this is my point with I was I was making with that was the fact that like the in the Conor McGregor thing you could say yeah maybe by watching that tape it looks a little he's maybe he's a little fucking tweaked who knows or maybe drunk who knows he's probably but a little bit toasted. This one this video is this kick is very very obviously fear fueled like this guy was scared. He's afraid like, of her tits. <laughs> he was terrified of this uh, horrendous. He's afraid. He's afraid of. Miss. You know what it is. He's afraid of marriage. He's afraid of commitment. I'm yep. not. Call me, baby. <laughs> baby, call me, please. You can touch my camera anytime. Look, I'm touching it right now. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, that. Re- yeah. Before we get out of this topic, to reiterate one more time, too. I do not care how expensive your fucking camera is. If you go to the yeah. fucking insane. If you go to, re- like if you take the bus to Retard City, it's <laughs> you. You're it's it's at your own risk with your expensive camera. Oh, that's that's the other thing I was gonna say was if to avoid this again, since this fucking pussy's too scared to just realize. Because again, you can't start that sentence by saying I fully know how uh, how you know uh, risky it is to take my ten thousand dollar camera out into the crowd. And then I, that's why I had to kick this woman. Like you don't, then that means you don't understand it. 
because that means you have to understand that people are going to touch your camera, especially when you're dipping it over that. There should be a line, like a very clear yellow line that anything that on stage that passes that line is fair game to the crowd. Anything, if the crowd is over this way, the, cause there was also, so, there's been some controversy in the past with like artists, like that mess with people in the crowd or take their phones or something like that. Or do, if you're hanging your phone over that line, the artist can take your phone and fling it into the crowd. <laughs> Fuck it. Like there that's... was a, gr there was a great one actually. And I'll, I'll, I'll meet him halfway. Cause I do understand uh, the mindset of like the, the main character syndrome thing. Um, because I, I saw someone posted a great video. Our, our boys, uh, every time I die, there's a, there's a classic video of them dealing with someone with main character syndrome where Keith's yeah. on stage singing. And this dude comes up and he's like standing next to Keith, gonna take a selfie with him and then jordan comes from the side and just punts his phone into the crowd <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the that's the handoff like you can risk it you can try but you better you better be good 